What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV back here for another predicted lineup video. Second game of the season against Wolverhampton at the Molyneux. Nuno going back to his old stomping ground, Wolves with a new hierarchy in charge there um, at the club. So it promises to be a really good game of football, in my opinion. Uh, Wolves will obviously, I mean, Nuno will obviously know uh, that team very well. Uh, and the press conferences have all been done now. So yeah. let's run through the team news. Yeah, so Cameron Carter Fick has suffered a bad injury doing the game on Thursday against Pacos. He's going to be out for um, for the foreseeable future with a bad ankle injury, according to Nuno. Um, Romero um, suffered a bit of late fatigue, he said. It looked like he might have suffered a knee injury, but Nuno said he's fine for Sunday, available for selection, and there was just a bit of fatigue affecting him late in the game. Harry Kane trained um, for this whole week and they're going to make a late decision on Saturday whether he's going to be involved in the squad. Obviously, I made interest from Man City. But the big, um, obviously, news is Tungi Ndombele is not going to be involved again on Sunday. Uh, Nuno categorically saying Tungi Ndombele is not going to be available for selection on Sunday with Amid uh, talks of... Um, uh, Tongi has now asked Tottenham according to Athletic and other sources that he has asked Tottenham if, if he can leave this summer which is um, bad news all round and apparently he's not going to be available for selection um, until the window closes and his future is sorted and that's why he has been selected over pre-season and uh, for the first two games of the season mm. so bad news there no Ndombele um, for the foreseeable future yeah it's very very annoying that one because you know we all know the talent this guy has he just mm -hmm. needs to marry it with that mentality which he's not doing it at the moment uh, but let's get into our predicted lineup we're going for a 4-3-3 formation as we saw in the first game of the season in goal is obviously going to be Hugo Lloris yeah um, number Straight one and in. captain obviously exactly. right back um, Tanganga had a brilliant game against Man City so we're going uh, for him to go straight back in there um, any chances for Dogti or Aurier definitely not has to be Tanganga, well, especially after his performance against yeah. uh, uh, Man City, and he got left at home on Thursday, so no chance for those two, especially mm -hmm. this game. Centre-back partnerships were going for exactly the same as it was against Man City as well. Sanchez and Eric Dyer uh, to partner themselves at the back, both having absolutely brilliant games against Man City. Um, and the centre-backs that did play out in uh, Portugal um, were left wanting a bit, weren't they? Yeah, didn't really impress. But um, Roden's still injured. Sorry, I should have mentioned on the team news. Roden isn't playing. Um, he's still got carrying an injury. Um, but apparently to a lot of sources now, Davinson Sanchez is set to stay after he was put up for sale. Apparently he's now gained the trust of Nuno. And it looks like Sanchez is going to be staying for another season. And he's taken off uh, the transfer list. So uh, it seems as though fortunes have changed for Sanchez um, early doors in the season. He has started the season well. Um, so yeah, we expect him and Dyer to carry, keep their places after a great performance on Sunday. Yeah, uh, left back is going to be Sergio Regulon, who came in. Um, well, didn't come in. I thought he had a really good game as well against Man City. A really good defensive display and definitely one of the best, his best performances in a Spurs shirt, in my opinion. Definitely. And I'm looking forward to maybe him having more more um, opportunities to get forward and be more attacking. I'm looking forward to how he's uh, going to approach this game. Yeah. So that's a back four of Hugo Lloris in goal, uh, Tanganga right back, Sanchez and Dyer in the centre back positions with Regulon at left back. In midfield, uh, in the in the deeper role, we're going to see um, Oli Skip um, playing the deeper role alongside a Pierre Emil Hoybier and Deli Ali in the middle three. Yeah, so we're going to keep the same three. Obviously, Skip played in the deeper role against. Um Man City, which is different to how he'd been playing in pre-season. Uh, maybe that's something they developed on the um, training pitch, or maybe that's just something they did tactically and it will change um, in this game, but we're expecting it to, it to be the same three. Hoybier had a lot more license to get um, to maybe press and be more aggressive and get forward, um, help out Lucas Moore and Tanganga on the right-hand side, and it definitely helped on that avenue. And um, Oli Skip, after a tough start, really grew into the game well and, and um, he's going to have to be at his very best to um, up up against the likes of Dedonka, Neves and uh, Mutinho, Mutinho in that centre of the park and then Dali Ali's obviously got a very crucial role and I'm hoping in this game we saw more, We as much as we saw the energy of Dali last game, I want to see him more on the ball in this game. Yeah, definitely and I think when you look at his performance against Man City, it was a very accomplished display from Dali Ali, the best, probably the best performance we've seen in him in a long time so um, I just call on him to kind of 
of keep that going. And I think the midfield three of Skip, Delhi, and Hoiberg worked really well uh, last week. So um, that will stay the same. Right wing, we're going to stick with Lucas Moura, a star of pre-season and uh, definitely one of the best players on the pitch on uh, last weekend as well. Yeah, it's going to be the battle of the dribblers in this game, isn't it? Adama <laughs> yeah. versus Lucas. It's going to be yeah. an interesting to see who gets the better of which defence um, and who comes out on top. But I'm looking forward to uh, how it plays out. But yeah, Lucas Moura has to start and um, I think he'll fancy his chances against their left back. Definitely. Uh, Left-hand side, we're going to go for Steven Bergwijn. But do you think Brian Hill has a chance? Um, he has a chance, but I think Bergvine had a good game against City, so I don't think his, uh, I don't think he'll 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 go for it. But I think he'll obviously didn't do. He did. I mean, he had a decent game against Packers. He didn't do so well that you have to play him. But he had a yeah. He put him, probably put himself in the manager's thoughts going mm. into this one. But I don't think he's going to start. And then up top, obviously, um, the one and only Hyung Min Son uh, with Harry Kane kind of up in the air at the yeah. moment. Um, how important is Sonny going to be this weekend? Crucial, uh, absolutely crucial. I don't think he's going to get as much space as he got against Man City, so he's going to have to kind of adjust his game a bit. He's going to have to come a bit deeper, maybe get a few more shots off from outside the box, which we know he's very lethal at. And um, he isn't. Uh, he's going to. He can't play on the shoulder the whole time because there isn't going to be a, a, as much room um, as there was. They're not going to play as high a line as. Um, Man City did so he's going to have to develop his game a bit more these are the games um, where Son could potentially be less effective than you know the games against Man City where he has all the space in the world to run into is about whether we can find him so it'll be interesting to see how he starts and goes into this game and how he adapts himself mm. he's absolutely crucial he's our best finisher he's the one where you know you look at that team and you think where are the goals coming from he's the only one where you're, you know if he gets a chance he'll score the others you don't really that's not necessarily true that's why I was thinking potentially it could be an option to play Brian Hill in this game because obviously him and Moore are both really like ball to feet and taking on their men and in the tight compact spaces it might suit them more in this game yeah you might be right you might be right I just don't see Nuno dropping Bergvine mm. me as well to be honest me as well but that is our lineup that we're going for let me run through with you that lineup one more time so in goal Hugo Lloris right back Japit Tanganga left back Sergio Rechelon with a middle two of Dyer and Sanchez at the back Skip, Hoybier and Deli Ali that make up the midfield three with Bergvine on the left, Lucas on the right and Sonny up top, which we predict a completely unchanged 11 from that 1-0 win against Man City. If this is the lineup, what score pitch are you going for? Yeah, uh, in some ways it can even be a more difficult game against than against Man City just because of um, how we were so up for it and the energy and the home crowd and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, the so home ground is going to be make a big difference. Yeah, so I don't expect this to be an easy game whatsoever, but I still put us as slight favourites and I still put us to win and I'm going to go two goals to one. It's going to be a tight one. 2-1. Yeah, I think um, it could go either way this one. I really, It really is a tough game to call. I mean, it's going to be a difficult game, really difficult for both teams. If we show the same passion and energy that we did against uh, Man City, I think we get the three points. Um, but with the home side, with their home fans there, it's going to be a really, really intense atmosphere with um, obviously their new manager playing his first game in front of the home fans. Um, I really want to predict a Tottenham win here, but I think, um, I think it's going to be 1-1. I'm going to go for 1-1 in this one. Uh, but that is it. That is our score predictions. That is our predicted lineup. I want to know your predicted lineup in the comment section below. And I want to know your predicted score line as well in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, come, come on, on, you Spurs. Spurs.